So what I am going to be demonstrating right now is how to draw the grid that will be used for your summative painting. The materials that you're going to need is the large sheet of paper that measures 16 inches by 22 inches. You'll need a ruler and a pencil. Now, when I demonstrate today, I am going to be using a Sharpie. And the only reason I'm using a Sharpie is so that you can see it as I'm making the marks. When you use your pencil today, make sure that you are using very light pencil marks because we're going to be painting on top of the pencil. If your pencil lines are too dark, the paint will not cover it, okay? So the first thing you'll want to do is you will want to line your paper up with the zero, okay? Here's the zero, line the corner up with that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark at one, and my mark is just going to be a very small, short line, okay? I can zoom that in so you can see my short, see my little short line? See, it's teeny, okay? And then I will continue. So I just made one on the one inch mark. So follow along with me so that your grid stays on track. So I have a, a mark at one. My next mark is going to be two inches, so three. Three plus two is five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and 21. So I've gone all the way to 21. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to slide my ruler up the page and I will get that zero on the edge and I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'm gonna start with a one and then I'm going to add two inches. So one plus two is three Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, and twenty one. Okay. Then I am going to rotate my paper. Okay, so now I've got the sixteen inches down at the bottom. I'm going to rotate my ruler. And I am going to put the zero in the corner. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a mark at one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. Okay? Then I will slide my ruler up and repeat. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. So at this point, all I need to do now is connect the lines. All right. So with each side, I started with one, which is going to end up giving me a one inch border. Now you guys are going to use your pencils very lightly as you are drawing these lines. I'm using a Sharpie so that you can see what I am doing.
So I have connected all of those. Now I'll rotate my paper and do the same thing. You're using light pencil lines. All right, so now I have a grid with two inch squares. The next thing I need to do is label. So starting at the top, right above my first square, I am going to letter A, B, C, D, E, and then continue all the way across until I hit the letter J. Okay, now you're not going to put a letter in the border on either end. Then I will rotate my paper. I'm not going to rotate. I'm just going to go down. Whoopsie. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. When you receive the copy of your edited design, you are going to recreate the grid. And you are going to label it just as this. Then you will begin to transfer your contour lines square by square. When you do this, you're going to use a pencil. And your pencil lines are going to be light so that you can cover it up with paint. When your painting is all done, you are going to erase the border so that those numbers and letters go gone. 